What's up y'all, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today we're gonna talk about this really cool camera trick. I guess you would call it the see through the ground camera trick. I don't know what you would actually call it, like a technical term for it, but essentially it's a glass platform that you're able to shoot under and through and it looks like the person is standing on air or you are shooting from under the ground up at them. And so it's a really cool camera trick. It's done in a lot of music videos. I recently did it on the Converse commercial and a lot of people, when I posted the, the split screen to my you know, Instagram, it went super dummy. So many people were asking if I could show how it was done, how it was made. So today I'm gonna run through, you know, show you guys the actual rig and then show you guys behind the scenes footage of it in action and just kind of talk about it and let you guys see how you could potentially build one yourself, get one built, and just show you this cool camera trick that is done in a lot of commercials um, and music videos. So real quick, here is the overall kind of behind the scenes look of the rig itself. Um, it is something that we built and designed and we have basically a bunch of, you know, four by fours uh, built together with a little ridge. I'll show you guys the blueprint and actually show it and walk you through it. But then we have an inch thick piece of plexiglass that is sitting inside of the ridge here that allows uh, the person to stand on it. The inch thick is plenty stable, sturdy enough. You're not gonna fall through it. You can really move around. And for this scene, I wanted to be looking like through the ground as someone's dribbling a basketball. And so that's kind of what the scene is here. Um, and we put the camera on a hi-hat uh, right here so we could move the camera around freely. If you were to put it on a tripod, you wouldn't be able to get a tripod low enough, uh, you know, because, you know, some, well, some tripods you could, you could go low to the ground, but putting it on a hi-hat allows you a little more stability because of the flat surface. You can really move it and rotate it around. And so that's what we did for this shoot is put it on the hi-hat and just let it kind of be able to be freely moved around. So you can see right there, just kind of me moving it around. We had a wireless follow focus, so I wasn't having to pull focus. And just, yeah, we dropped, we actually dropped it down a level there too. But just being able to get this cool look, it's relatively simple. Uh, there's probably more professional ways of doing it, but this is the rig that we designed and built ourselves to pull off this effect. And it works very, very well. And I would highly recommend it if you're trying to do this effect. It's, this is all stuff that we found at, at Home Depot. The plexiglass we found at a local LA glass store um, and we're able to pull that off uh, from there. But that's really it, you know? A couple four by fours with a little inset to lay the plexiglass into so it's not sliding around on top. You wanna set it into that, to that ridge and you know, just it creates a really cool effect. Again, you can see this pretty heavily in that new G-Eazy video that came out. That's the one that most recently comes to mind. Um, but this is an effect that you probably seen before and maybe didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, it's a cool, really cool, fun effect. So here's a look at the plexiglass platform. Uh, basically, it's a couple four by fours, two by fours. Um, just built a frame, a rectangle frame to fit the plexiglass that we got at a local plexiglass or you know glass store um, it's an inch thick but basically built the frame so that there was like a inch inch and a half lip and then that's what you know that the glass is actually sitting on all the way through so it sits in because you don't want the glass to just rest on top so it can slide around you want it to sit in so it drops about an inch drops down about an inch and it's about an inch wide so it kind of sits in so if someone's on it and moving around it's not sliding and moving around and so the plexiglass is actually just sitting see i can lift it up it's just sitting right in that lip uh, we can take it out we can lift it up but it's literally just sitting down in that lip you can stand on it move on it um and shoot below the whole point is to shoot below and kind of like you're shooting up through the ground last night we did a little fish tank another fish tank camera trick where i had the idea we wanted to do this like drowning scene for this new project we're working on for Payne Lindsay and his new podcast so i had the idea to take a fish tank fish tank's got a clear bottom fill it with water put the fish tank on the plexiglass and use the camera 
to shoot through the plexiglass and the bottom of the fish tank filled with water and make it look like someone's drowning. So there's so many ways that you can utilize this as well as a fish tank. It's just all about getting creative and thinking how you can get the shot. So that's really it. The plexiglass platform, you guys can build it yourself. You can get someone to build it for you, but it's a really cool thing to have and you can get really creative with it in a lot of different ways. Um, so it's definitely something to keep in your back pocket uh, for any future productions. All right guys, so that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you a little insight onto the behind the scenes of this production and how to do another cool camera trick that basically allows you to see through the ground. Um, I got a lot of questions about it. So again, hopefully this video helped. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. If there's anything that I didn't cover or touch about this that you wanna know, uh, comments below. I'm here to answer any of those questions. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds. 